it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do a new moon reading so this would be for the no new moon in Pisces on February 23rd so keep in mind that the timing you know usually goes out for the next six months new moons are when you set intentions so keep that in mind but you know this something could be happening during this new moon that you set intentions back six months ago or whatever okay so let's just see what comes up what do we have for well let's start right there oh, we got another one so anyway what do we have for around the 23rd what's gonna happen spear Ooh, heartache over what you no longer have. So somebody may be dealing with some heartache on this day. Reminiscing. There's could have been a loss, right? And now there's some sort of heartache. Obviously somebody something is pierced, right? Pierced could be right in the heart. Right? I mean that's kinda like that's what it looks like. I got so many bright things back there. It will not focus. Whatever. Dog close up. Pleasure with a close friend. Wow. Interesting. Pleasure. Looks like a pretty dog. <laughs> Anyhow. Um, hmm. Heartache. But pleasure. Hmm. Interesting. So what do we got? What do we got? What do we have for the new moon around February 23rd? One card, please. One card. Man holding heart. Doesn't get much better than that. But man holding heart could mean so many things. You know, sometimes you hold your heart when you're in pain, okay? Looks, you know, that could be many reasons why you hold your heart as right. I mean, it looks like this man is holding on to his heart. He hasn't given it away. He is holding on to it, okay? So we do have a man that is, is holding his heart. It could be in pain or it could be in fear, okay? Or he's just getting ready to give his heart away, okay? Now, you notice that heart is in his hand, you know, so hmm. he may have somebody else's heart right in his hands. Could go so many ways, right? What do we have for around the 23rd? Intuition. Now, this is the High Priestess card. High pre this is all part of the script, right? Follow your intuition. Your intuition knows what this is about. This is deep feelings when you get the high priestess. I, seriously, there's a connection. This man has a connection with somebody. This person is an intuitive. This is a healer. The high priestess is a healer, a counselor, a tarot reader, a medium, um, an empath, somebody that feels very deeply. And it looks to me as though this man and this person have deep feelings for each other. They can feel each other. They can communicate with each other without even speaking. Okay? Like telepathic communication. They feel. They feel each other's energy. Um, the high priestess is very spiritual and self-sufficient. She's intuitive. She can seem a little distant, but it's because she's observing. She's a very observant, reflective, and receptive. She feels so deeply. So somebody is dealing with this person right here. Could be you. So we have this, these two people. I feel like we have two different people here. I do. This person is, they're, they're both pretty deep, but this is an intuitive of some sort, and this man is, is, is holding his heart. And, and it's interesting, because if this is pierced right in the heart. So somebody could be, be experiencing some pain. This guy could be experiencing some pain because of this person. 
And I'm not saying, I mean, that she's doing it on purpose or anything like that. But, you know, when you have deep feelings for somebody and you can't express them or whatever the case is, it can be heart-wrenching. Now, this could also be heart pain in another way. Just take it for what it is. Um, what do we have for around the, the new moon? The Emperor. Something to do with the Emperor. The Emperor has come up in my last, what, three readings. So something to, it could be da dealing with an Aries. Um, or a Capricorn. Or it doesn't really matter. It could be dealing with a Taurus. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Um... I said that, Taurus, Pisces. Um, now, any man could be holding his heart. It doesn't matter what sign he is. This is, could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. You could call this the King of Cups. You call this anybody. Call this the King of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Could be anybody. This is typically an Aries or a Capricorn. But like I said, again, it could be anybody. Anyhow, this guy is the Emperor. Is a boss. It's a masculine. And this we do have a masculine here. Looks like he is in charge. Right? He is absolutely in charge. He is making a decision as we speak. He is. He is. Now, this guy is somebody in high authority, right? He's not the highest authority because the Hierophant is, or God, or the higher power, but he's close, okay? This guy is, is in some sort of uh, authoritative position. He's about to make some sort of decision. He's either, you know, a business owner, a boss, a manager, a father, a husband, he has some sort of pull, okay? He's very self-sufficient. He's very organized. He's very structured. Um, he's very protective. He's very dominant. He's very masculine. He's a very, this is your alpha, okay? We have an alpha male here. Temperance reversed. Frustrated. Moody. Yeah, this guy is frustrated. There's some sort of imbalance. Could be some poor health as well. So we could have somebody that is not doing well. Somebody's not doing well. They're not healthy. And there could be some inappropriate behavior here. And this could be some punishment. There could be some sort of punishment that is coming. Hmm. Queen of Cups. Could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Doesn't matter. Everybody, we all take on these energies at some point. Queen of Cups is tender love and care. This is a lover. This is somebody who is kind, who is caring, who is generous, who takes care of people. This is a counselor or a healer again. Okay? This is somebody who is very empathic and kind. Okay? So, so this is your healer. This person is tender and gentle and loving. Emotional. Could be an emotional time. This is frustrated. King of Pentacles. Boy, we have a lot of people here. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Now, the King of Pentacles is stable, solid, secure, hardworking. Likes the finer things. Very materialistic. Um... This guy is holding on to his value. He's holding on to his money. He may be holding on for money. She's got love and she's all about love. This guy may be all about money, all about all about uh, his job, all about status, all about, you know, things. This temperance reverse is negative behavior. It is. And this could be onset of illness. We could have somebody here that is is getting ill, and it, and it could they be kid, and this could be a caregiver. This could be a nurse. Hmm. Now this King of Pentacles, he is very stubborn. He's a hard worker. He doesn't like to to like. He likes his things. He likes his things a lot. This could be the same person. This Emperor and this King of Pentacles. It could be. Six of Cups reverse. Now this is freedom from obligation. Packing up and leaving. Somebody could be going to rehab because this is addictions. Or their addictions are affecting them. They could end up in the hospital. Just saying. Somebody could end up in a hospital. They're greedy. They're selfish. They overindulge with the temperance reversed. And, and you know, and they need somebody to take care of them. I'm just, I've got to be honest with you. 
Somebody could go and be going to rehab or need some sort of therapy because this could be a counselor. It needs some sort of counseling. Um, hmm. This is this could be a judge. A judge could be ordering somebody into rehab. Just saying. Because um, this is a judge. Because I have to be. But the emperor is somebody in authority that makes decisions. Could be a boss. This could be a boss that is breaking somebody free, firing them. Okay, the Six of Cups reverses is freedom from obligation. And the Six of Cups is generally about children in the past. It could be freedom from your parental rights. I mean, there's somebody here that has addictions with the temperance reverse. They're, they're engaging in negative patterns, negative behaviors over and over and over again. Could be this Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could be addictions. It could be drinking. It could be drugs. Could be this, this earth sign, uh, that is overindulged. Somebody is, it could be both. There's overindulging here. And somebody is making a decision. It could be a higher power. Okay. And then, and you know, when you overdo it, you can have a heart attack. Okay, maybe that's why you have to hold your heart. I mean, just, I, I, yeah, um, it is what it is, right? I mean, I, whatever. Um, Six of Cups reversed is, is uh, freedom from obligation. It could be child abuse or child neglect. We could have somebody here that has selective memory. They only remember what they want to remember. Maybe there's so much on drugs that they've, you know, burned up some of their brain cells or something, you know, because it, maybe they can't remember things anymore because their brain cells are fried. Just being honest with you. Anyhow, um, you know, it's like somebody that just doesn't remember things because there's so much on drugs and alcohol or whatever. Anyhow, um, but this is a dec decision maker here. This the decision is about to be made with that emperor Two of Wands, the moment of decision. The Two of Wands is the moment of decision. So yes, a decision is about to be made as to what to do. What are we going to do here? This isn't getting any better. It's not. So the judge is about to make a decision. And the judge could be, you know, it could be Saturn. Could be, I don't know who it is. Could be anybody. Okay, could be a higher power. All right. Somebody is about to make a decision. And it could be somebody on this earthly realm or it, it may or may not be. Um, but somebody is about to make one. I'm just going to go ahead and let that go down. Um, so yeah, the moment of decision is now. Okay. We have something, uh, that the six of cups reversed that there's, there's no growth. Um, there's some sort of abuse and it could be an abuse of drugs or alcohol. Somebody may have been robbed of their innocence with the six of cups reversed. Somebody may be feeling guilty about how they treated their children. Eight of Swords. Freedom. You notice that? That's freedom. That's come. Yes, this is being broken free. Somebody has been in a state of confinement. They've been trapped. Okay. They've been trapped. Entrapped, you know, in their own mindset, in that old mindset, in their own prison, you know, and, and you could, and you could call drugs a prison. Right. So somebody, but this is the obstacle finally being removed. Okay. It's like the, the lid coming off and you're going to deal with this shit. So I think that we have somebody here that is about to deal with the addictions that they have been burying. Um, the addictions are about to be put to the forefront and an obstacle is about to be removed. Okay. You can't hide from it. You can't run from it. It's time. Seven of swords getting caught. Look at that shit. It came out reversed. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip. I just want you to see it. Somebody is getting caught. Okay. They think everything's okay, but it's not. Okay. It came out reversed. That is getting caught. Okay. So somebody is getting caught. If they have been lying, if they have been stealing, if they have been cheating, whatever they have been doing, they are about to get caught. Somebody is watching. Somebody is watching. They couldn't end up getting hurt, too. If you notice, I mean, you see the gun. Somebody could end up getting shot. No offense. I mean, it is what it is. Two of Cups reversed. The end of a partnership. The end of a union. There's no, there's no compatibility here. There's a disconnection. There's a breakup. There's a split. Somebody gets caught. They get caught doing something deceptive. They get caught doing cheating. Or they get caught doing something, you know. Hmm. Somebody's getting caught in this. The two of cups reverses a breakup. There's a disconnection. It is. 
losing it's losing a, a friend or losing a person you there's no more the relationship is there's a split okay so this obstacle is being removed somebody's getting caught and they may end up in jail or in rehab somebody could end up in jail six of oh this is the lovers so this is a new contract. Unexpected choice in love. You notice there's somebody over there that is watching. So some there is like a third party situation here. Somebody is choosing somebody else. They're choosing to go down a new path. And they're getting caught by the other person. It's undeniable connection. You can't you can't deny it. You can't deny love. You can't deny you can't deny it. And in order to get to go this way there's going to be a breakup so it's like you lose one you gain one so there's a split here there's a split because somebody has this new connection that is more compatible than this one is so we have this 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 uh emperor which is a masculine all you feminine that are going to hop on the phone and chase. This masculine is making a decision. You notice the masculine and the two women? Okay, the masculine is making the decision. He is choosing. So there's a choice that is being made around this new moon. And he is, he is giving up one to connect with the other. So it is decision time. And this is this is freedom from obligation. So freedom from response. We have somebody that is being uh, left behind. Okay, they're being freed. You're free. I'm going someplace else. I that's that's the way it is. So I feel like this this emperor is in charge. He's been thinking about it, and he is making the choice. He is making a choice to. Uh, bring somebody closer okay it's like this is a soulmate connection this is meant to be this is a perfect match he is choosing he's making the choice somebody's going to get hurt out of the deal Now, the, the lover's card is a card of consequences. It's a card of shared values. It's a card of alignment. It's a card of falling in love. And it's a card of commitment. So we have somebody here that is choosing to commit to somebody else. Because this is a change, okay? The lover's is a change. Somebody that they are more connected to. Somebody that they feel a deeper connection to. And in order to do that, they're going to have to leave somebody else behind. So that's what we got here. And that's probably why pleasure with a close friend came up. Somebody was choosing somebody based on friends. You know, it was, and it couldn't develop into love because it wasn't. like friends with benefits and and even sometimes people get in relationships you know and they move in with these people because they need that right but i think we have somebody here that is realizing you know what their heart wants and they're choosing love so expect the unexpected when you get the lover's card There's an unexpected choice in love that is coming up. Somebody is choosing. They're choosing between two. So be prepared to uh, deal with that. There's a choice between two lovers, and the decision is being made right around this time. Somebody's going to get hurt. But somebody's also going to fall in love. Good luck.